Cyanite is a coarse-grained intrusive igneous rock with a general composition similar to that of granite, but deficient in quartz, which, if present at all, occurs in relatively small concentrations. Some cyanites contain larger proportions of mafic components and smaller amounts of felsic material than most granites, those are classed as being of intermediate composition. The volcanic equivalent of cyanite is trachyte. Composition of cyanites. The feldspar component of cyanite is predominantly alkaline in character. Plagioclase feldspars may be present in small proportions, less than 10%. Such feldspars often are interleaved as perthitic components of the rock. When ferromagnesian minerals are present in cyanite at all, they usually occur in the form of hornblende, amphibol and clinopyroxene. Biotite is rare, because in a cyanite magma the formation of feldspar consumes nearly all the aluminium. Most cyanites are either peralkaline with high proportions of alkali elements relative to aluminum, or peraluminous with a higher concentration of aluminum relative to alkali and earth alkali elements. Formation of cyanites. Cyanites are products of alkaline igneous activity, generally formed in thick continental crustal areas, or in Cordilleran subduction zones. To produce a cyanite, it is necessary to melt a granitic or igneous protolith to a fairly low degree of partial melting. This is required because potassium is an incompatible element and tends to enter a melt first, whereas higher degrees of partial melting will liberate more calcium and sodium, which produce plagioclase, and hence a granite. Adamolite tonality. At very low degrees of partial melting a silica under saturated melt is produced, forming a nephilin cyanide, where orthoclase is replaced by a feldspathoid such as leucite, nephilin or an alcimar. Conversely in certain conditions, large volumes of anorthite crystals may precipitate from thoroughly molten magma in accumulate process as it cools. This leaves a drastic reduced concentration of silica in the remainder of the melt. The segregation of the silica from the melt leaves it in a state that may favor cyanide formation. Occurrence of cyanites. Cyanite is not a common rock. Regions where it occurs in significant quantities include the following. In North America cyanite occurs in Arkansas and Montana. Regions in New England have sizable amounts, and in New York cyanite gneisses occur. The Great Cyanide Dike extends from Hanging Rock, South Carolina through Taxahaw, South Carolina to the Brewer and Edgeworth Mine in Chesterfield, South Carolina. In Europe cyanide may be found in parts of Switzerland, Germany, Norway, Portugal, in Plovdiv, Bulgaria and in Ditrau, Romania. In Africa there are cyanide formations in Aswan, Egypt and in Malawi in the Mulanya Mountain Forest Reserve. Cyanide rock was used to make the key with sphinxes. Instead of the usual rock cyanide, some of the more important events in New England, Arkansas, Montana, New York, Switzerland, Germany, Norway, Plovdiv, Bulgaria, Malawi and Romania. The Malvern Hills which is on the border between the counties of Herefordshire and Worcestershire United Kingdom also formed of cyanide. Hartisok and Kanglaluk fjords in southeastern Greenland, where a bay within the latter and a headland are named after the rock. Dot. Etymology. The term cyanite was originally applied to hornblende granite like that of Syene in Egypt, from which the name is derived, apisanite. Apisanite is a term used in petrology to describe the result of alteration of material rich in silicon peroxide to silicon peroxide depleted rock. A process that results in silicon peroxide depletion often is termed apisianitization. The term refers only to the macroscopic effect of relative silicon peroxide depletion in a rock. It does not imply anything about the nature of the physical 
process is leading to the silicon peroxide depletion in any particular case, because many different processes in various metamorphic environments may lead to epigenetization. For example, chemical components in a stagnant melt may diffuse under the influence of chemical potential gradients that cause the segregation from low silicon peroxide components when the melt begins to solidify. A silicon peroxide undersaturated fluid may dissolve quartz from rock and remove it by advection, thus leaving the parent rock depleted of silica. A marginally molten rock mass may retain its on molten silica rich components, while the molten silica depleted fluid cools to form a cyanide. On beginning to cool, a fully molten silica rich melt might precipitate its silica containing components, leaving the silica depleted melt to form a cyanide afterwards.